Raise the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, everyone. My name's Nagato. And Today I'll be teaching you how to take your retail PlayStation Vita and turn it into a test kit by using a program called kex to rex um, Like I like to stay in any video, my prerequisites. Uh, first things first, you need a PlayStation Vita or PSTV that is specifically on these two firmwares, which is 3.60 and 3.65. If your Vita isn't on these two firmwares, you can either downgrade via Maduro or Maduro um, by the official flow. Basically, that is a software of... Uh, application for the Vita that basically downgrades your firmware to your Vita without any hardware mods. Um, using this uh, kex to rex application this will allow you to enable debug settings, uh, enable trophies, um, basically like enable debug trophies but um, you couldn't sync via a uh, PSN. Uh, like I said before this method is only for 3.60 and 3.65 firmware so firmware such as 3.67 or 3.68 or higher cannot run this application or if you do it will semi brick your Vita so please read over the instructions or follow along from the video to make sure you're installing the right version on your Vita or PSTV for example they have I think four versions of it so if you had a PlayStation TV that's on 3.60 you want to use that version if you had a PlayStation TV that was on 3.65 you want to use that version um for example even on the Vita if you had 3.6 use that version and then if you had 3.65 on uh, your Vita then use that version uh the kex to rex application is open source so you can read the source code if you do want to enable a Vita since it does change some uh important files in VSO and I'm not responsible if you don't follow the directions or install anything on your Vita if you don't follow the exact directions and also the links that I provide um I also on a side note uh, state that this tutorial is for more advanced users who want to learn about more about test kits um with that being said I'm gonna get to some more of the prerequisites such as you need FileZilla or any FTP client a uh, Vita shell on the latest version, a USB cable if you're going to transfer that way, internet connection to even download this VPK and make sure like I said before download the correct version and that's about it uh, with that being said uh, let's get straight started into the video I'm going to go ahead and show you what link you need and I'm going to show you my uh, PC screen real quick because I know I got the Vita one running now so once you basically got or did all those prerequisites Go ahead and type in this uh, URL. There will also be a link in the description for any programs I use. And basically, um, from here, uh, let me just take the credits so for people who worked on this. So Silica and Pina uh, go straight goes out. Uh, credit goes out to him for you know creating this project. Celeste Blue, Major Tom, uh, SKG or SKG LEBA, not Zach. Coxow, sorry if I'm butchering some people's names, and Voxel9, or if ne anyone's name is not on the list that I stated um, before to give credit to, credit goes out to y'all, um, just to clear the credit section out, but yeah, once you use this, uh, or view this link in the download section, or just type it in, in your URL bar, you basically want to download which version is for you, so for example, you want a PlayStation TV, go ahead and download a 3.60 version, um, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory so once you already download the version go ahead and find where it's at mine is on my desktop right here uh, I've actually this is the wrong version for me because I'm using my other Vita so make sure it's the right version but the way you would um, do it is or basically to transfer over to VPK you want to go ahead and open up Vita shell and I'll show you real quick on my end I just got to switch back in OBS real quick to show y'all guys. Then, yeah, once you in, uh, basically open up Vita Shell on the, and make sure you have the latest version download, go ahead and press start and select to FTP and then type in your IP address in and then whether what FTP FileZilla client, I'm just doing FTP method. So I just got to change my IP here real quick and the port always is one three 
or one through three seven. I had num locked off on my um key keyboard for typing, so that's why it took a few tries. But once you got that done, um, go ahead and transfer the VPK over to UX zero. So just drag and drop. I'm not going to drag and drop mines because I already uh pre-installed it onto my Vita. So once you basically have it pre-installed onto your Vita, what you want to do is now uh install the VPK. And let me show you guys how to install a VPK real quick. So once you make sure like you got the exact version for your firmware, go ahead and click X over install and let the package install. It may take a few seconds and you have to have safe mode um innate or basically safe safe mode disable in Vita Shell. And the way you could do that is just going by into your settings um and then all the way down under Hankaku settings and then from there once you have that um there should be an option that says disable uh basically safe settings because you won't see all the folded partitions and it won't let you install vpks so it's a guy about like 50 percent halfway um just a few side notes before we install make sure um that if you do care about anything such as like uh, save data or whatever it may format it um but just this is just a general consensus you using certain programs like this i always like to back up my uh usb uh save data trophy data or anything like that but it's done oh it's almost done about installing now it's on 99 percent and it should be coming through soon yep there you go then you will just want to back out so once you have kex to rex installed go ahead and click on it from here start and then go ahead and click x and what now is doing it's basically reformatting vso and it's very important not to turn off your system make sure your battery is on basically over 50 percent uh do not exit out the app if the app is malfunctioning, go ahead and power it off and then just re uh, basically redo the steps. Just run Kex to Rex again because I know sometimes um, it may not run, but it usually takes a good maybe three to four or five minutes because uh, it, it's basically reformatting and installing all the VSO apps. So right now it's installing the test kit under VSO and basically is replacing all the uh dex firmware files onto the system so basically it's probably going to reboot my uh vita and you may not see my screen so i may have to get it back up because once this uh, process is done it basically restart to vita on it on its own um some cool things about the features i'll turn back off my vita and then turn my computer on so i can read some features that you get by installing this method is hold on let me scroll down yeah so you get debug utility like i said before you get the trophy app that unlocks all it doesn't sync but um yeah if you use trophy hacks or trophy hacks se or any other uh trophy unlocking method for the playstation vita you could just bypass that uh package installer not too sure if most people use package installer this may be useful for devs um set auto time off to or off never or 60 seconds I'm not really too sure what that does, to be quite honest. Browse app have no PlayStation.com. That's a weird feature that I thought that was pretty unique that it wouldn't install. Um, PlayStation Store doesn't show up, but it still could be added into App DB. Yeah, so once you get this, your PlayStation Store will look totally different. It won't be like the retail one. I noticed with um the 3.60 version of this, you could still run online and stuff, but the I think 3.65 version, I'm not too sure it could still go on PSN. But I rem as I recall running the 3.60 version of this, um you could go still online on PSN, still view party. There's certain things like um like what I'm trying to say, view friends list, all that stuff works, but um there's some other cool features like mini setting for QA, debug settings, quick sign up, uh, executing unsigned code, which is, yeah, like stated here, Hankaku's already allowed this, so there's basically no point. I really don't uh, suggest anyone getting test kit activation, like due to the fact this is a retail model and having test kit activation could basically disable a lot of features for your system. But um, as that being said, like I could go through the source code while still installing right now because it does take a pretty much a while for this to install 
so you can see the commits and branches from this website so if you don't trust what any of the source code or whatever um it basically shows which is kind of like the site is basically like github and it shows basically the source code to all the stuff um there's actually another method i'll actually show you right now while this installing on how to really install this on 3.67 and 8 but not using this method um there's basically two tools that I've used which is let me go to Vita PlayStation hold on I just gotta find this real quick there's two um things like yeah Vita RW and basically this VPK I probably don't have it yeah there you go this VPK right here basically and ins helps installs uh or basically opens all partitions which makes you could basically rewrite uh, VSO which basically that's what the app is doing for you now when I was on 3.60 I also tried this method so this was like the PTL dump stuff from a test kit and basically these are the exact files what is copying over now to Kex to Rex it's just a 3.68 firmware version of it so it's a lot of like folders and these are like the hidden app folders like I think MPX X1008 is like the trophy app yep so there's, that's some cool thing like there's a bunch of old like hidden apps for the Vita that like you probably don't see which are like decrypted like if we go through some of them now not too sure what this one is oh this is CMA and I guess even from the param.sfo if you hold it on your PC you could probably read the app or you may not even read a random name so yeah but that's just some uh, cool stuff you could watch from that method onto the thing. But yeah, I, I will leave actually a link in the description too for uh, the P or the VSO dumps for all firmwares. I think as of right now, um, it's up to 3.68. I know there's probably one for 3.67. I know that. Uh, and of course, 3.63, 3.60. And as of right now, guys, uh, it just so I have to uh, bring up OBS sorry for you know taking long and kind of stalling out on that but you could also install this over with Enzo basically what I have to do now probably gonna see the void of OBS right now but I'm getting my Vita to boot back up so I could show you guys how basically what it looks like on my end real quick it may take me one second yeah so once that thing installs it may take you know five to ten minutes it'll, it'll basically boot up a uh, Hankaku Enzo by itself and then you basically could have a uh, debug settings I just gotta set my Vita up so it can show once again because it does take a little while because the system recognizes that uh, VSO has already been manually installed. Got to make sure it pops up via OBS. It's just my system is taking a long time to basically boot back up from uh, using this method. But once I plug it in, um, I'll show you straight up on the screen. And um, using SD to Vita 2, I noticed by doing this, you, it's going to have to update your database because I think some it deals with something with the memory card. I'm not too sure if that's just my system on it, but I noticed with SD to Vita and installing Kex to Rex, um, I think it takes maybe one or two initial boots to get the uh, thing working. So I'm sorry for like the you know black screen right now. Let me go ahead and pop my Vita back in and let's see if we could get this shown to you guys and I probably um while having this video I'll probably tell you where to start if you know wanting to see like how to operate this Let me see right quick.
I may have to uh, end this video right here, but I'll probably have part two just to make sure uh, OBS is running fine with the Vita because of right now, I don't think it's running. Um, I do apologize and I probably will edit this part out or maybe not. I'll just probably have a part two and then I'll just connect this basically from the video itself. So thank you guys for just watching this part. And then basically um, for the next video, I'll have a part two of showcasing how it looks because I guess once it restarts, um. And if you have the UCDC uh, SUPRX, it um, basically, I guess, needs to re-enable its plugin. So once I get back and done with that, I'll have that video um, all up and ready. So thank you guys. I'm signing out. My name is Nagato.